family honour at stake. First on BBC One, it's war. Ladies and gentlemen, it's families at war. And on tonight's show, is this the best way to eat a cream cake? Can you really play pool in total darkness? Can this woman iron a shirt in just 30 seconds? Should these pensioners really be tap dancing? And can you guess who will be the spider? All will be revealed on Families at War. And here are your team captains, Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer, with tonight's families. The Moore family from Norwich. The Wolcott family from Kent. With the Moors from Norfolk. Come on, the all and tell us all about yourself. Kenny, I'm a bachelor. I've got woolly hair and I like a bit of gossip. My name is Linda. I am a housewife. I used to work in a bingo hall. I'm Sheila. Pleased to meet ya. My backside is my most prominent feature. We're the more family. We're the more family. We're the more family. Who've you got, Bob? Oh, hell, I just come and see. I'd like to. The world comes. From a western Come on now and tell us where you're coming from John I'm an engineer I've got a cockatoo Yes, I've got a cockatoo I'm Danny I'm a schoolboy And I fancy Rachel out of friends I'm John I collect choppers That's the chopper bite Not the butcher's hat Families at war, and welcome, of course, to the beautiful Alice Beer. Thank you. OK, Alice, over to you. <laughs> yes, welcome to Families at War, the show where two families battle against each other to see which one is the most talented. Wow. Who's going to win, then? Huh? It's stupid, we it was... don't know. That's why we're making the television programme, <laughs> to see who right. wins at the end of the programme. Good idea. OK, Vic. Now, on Families at War... Excuse me, am, am I in it? <laughs> yes, we're doing it now, Vic. That's what right. all this palaver's about. Oh, that's good. That's going to clear up. That's great. Okay, great it's going news. to be great. Exactly. Thank you very much. Great news. <laughs> <laughs> now, on Families at War, we don't have showbiz-style characters involved at all. No, they're just ordinary families. Some of them have very ordinary skills. Some of them extraordinary skills. But whatever the skill, it would be tested to the limit here on Families at War. <laughs> now, the winning family at the end of the show, whoever has won, will enter... The Cubist Curse. Where? That is a bit frightening, isn't it? The pants. <laughs> With the help of the grabbing spider, there will be an array of fantastic prizes for them to win, plus a little hard cash. Now, Alice, it's all well and good, but I've noticed um, a flaw in our diagram here. Have Who you? is going to be deciding the victorious family? Who's going to be judging? I'm not available, I'm far too partial. What about you, Vic? <laughs> I can't do it. I'm too busy doing the show, aren't I? Yeah. Apparently. Don't worry. You're not needed, either of you. Because let me introduce you to tonight's Families at War jury. There's a jury! They're consisting of 12 nurses. <laughs> Now, you've each got one vote to cast at the end of every round when you decide which of the family members was the most impressive. Vic, would you like to introduce your first family for us? Yes, I'd like to introduce you to the Moore family! <laughs> I'm introducing Penny Moore! Yay! Penny! Yeah. Kenny, 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 yes. Kenny, Kenny! Kenny! Yeah, lovely. Now, uh, Kenny, you're a bachelor. I sure am. Confirmed? Obviously, yeah. No. <laughs> Very obviously. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, 
Do you shave your eyebrows or are you permanently <laughs> quizzical? I'm very Roger Moore. Are you? Mm. Yes, I'm sure you yeah, are. Yeah, <laughs> Can you? Do you like my hair? Um. <laughs> yes, it's great, yeah. Which one? Uh -huh. which one you, you must have a favourite. Come on, which one do you like? The one was just there. Oh, that one, no, that's my favourite. <laughs> that one's alive. <laughs> Let's move on now, and who we got here? It's Linda. Whoa! Linda. You used to work in the... Ah, oh, Kenny. Yeah. Ken... Oh! <laughs> that old one. Ken... Uh, Kenny, sorry, I'm not obsessed with you, aren't I? Linda. Yes. You were a bingo caller. Mm-hmm. You do it like oh. that? Do it bingo. <laughs> <laughs> now, you used to be a bingo caller. I were. Well, I was. You I was. Were. You. I, I were. I were. I were. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to give it up. This Norfolk what, accent. What are you giving up your Norfolk accent? Why I'm do you want to give it up? To. Why? Because it's, it's lovely and rounded, like a lovely big Norfolk turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you look lovely. Anyway, wonder what you're going to be doing tonight, mm, Linda. I don't we'll find know. out later, yeah. won't we? <laughs> Who are you? It's Sheila Moore. Are you Kenny's mum? I am Ken's mum. I have that honour. Dubi yeah. Dubious though it is sometimes. He's great, and he wonder what he's going to be doing tonight. So, <laughs> Sheila, you work in an old folks' home, right? Not really. It's a sheltered housing development. Oh, it's a oh, it's sheltered <laughs> housing, is it? So, can I just imagine you there, wheeling the old folk up to the window and leaving them there all day? <laughs> Radio 2, gently... Playing in the background, masking the sound of a distant Alsatian <laughs> as it parks in the distance. Is that what it's like? No, I'm more likely to be teaching them line dancing, actually. Oh, yeah? Yes, more. Line dancing? Line dancing, line dancing and aerobics, Sheila. Yes. And aerobics, yes. And aerobics. All people doing aerobics. The mind boggle. <laughs> well, that's a big applause for the boys. Yeah. It's the Walcott. See, he's got a couple of kids for the sympathy vote. <laughs> it's the Walcott family, all the way from Kent. First up, it's the father, John Walcott. Right? Now you're an engineer, aren't you, John? Uh, yeah, I try to. Be. What kind of engineer? Civil? I'm polite. <laughs> That's what you're up against, Vic. What a polite engineer. <laughs> I can sense that you and your team are a little bit nervous, but can you just try yeah. and remember what I said to you in rehearsals yeah, this no afternoon? Problem. Now, what was the little chant I gave you? Just say it again. Build yourself up. Don't be nervous. Say that chant for me. Be strong. Be true. Let the beast emerge. That's right. Now, you just remember. <laughs> now, the same goes for all my family here. John, John Jr. Okay. What did I say to you in rehearsals? I'm strong. I'm cunning. Victory will be mine. That's right. That's good. And Danny? Danny, what did I say to you in rehearsal? You said to me, Bob, to nip down to the shop and get you 20 fags. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, we've met your dad. What's he like as a dad? Is he good fun? Is he boring? Boring. Boring. <laughs> you hear that? What do you say? So that, John? He's lovely. He's lovely. <laughs> you collect uh, stamps. You like The Simpsons. You like computers. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Now, you like your stamps if... You were to meet the Queen, Danny, do you think you'd have a, a, an overwhelming urge to lick the back of her head? No. No? What a sensible young man. <laughs> I've got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, what this boy is doing tonight is incredible. The last member of the family, it's John Wolcott, John Jr. Uh, you're looking very smart, John. Thank you. You smell very nice as well, because you like... Aftershave very much, don't you? I do, yeah. Is that to yeah. attract women or insects? What? <laughs> he does what he collects aftershaves. Well, he, no, you like wearing them. Sniffing! A... Sniffing! <laughs> no, no, I'm not back. you, not him. We know what you're after. She uses vinegar, him. <laughs> what, what, does he smell of? what does he smell of? This is incredible. What is it? Oh, it's butter beans. <laughs> Imagine that. Recreating <laughs> butter beans on. A woven material. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Wilcott family on Families of War tonight. All the best. It's time for the games to begin. Is it? It is indeed. And Bob, you're going to go first, but, so would you introduce your first family member, please? Of course I will, Alice. I'd like to introduce you to... John Jr. John! John Wilcott, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, 
Now, you're multi-talented, uh, John, as are all your family. <laughs> you enjoy... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You play golf, you fish, you play darts. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. But what are you going to be doing for us tonight, John? Tonight, Bob, I'll be dancing Latin for you. Latin dancing. Off you go and get ready then, John. I'll take your coat. Thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, accompanied by his partner, Natalie, the Latin dancing skills of John Walcott. <laughs> Mr. Reeves is wearing a challenge garment. <laughs> Mr. Reeves, what is your challenge garment and what well, is your challenge? Well, I, it's not necessarily. Oh, <laughs> it's not necessarily a garment. I'm actually wearing <coughs> challenge dentures. Oh, is that allowed, uh, Alice? It's technically not a garment, is it? I'm going to allow it, then. Oh. I'm going to allow it. <laughs> Come on, Natalie. John, Let's that leave him was back. fantastic. That was tremendous, you know. I almost felt like I was in Buenos Aires on a warm summer's day, <laughs> riding gently through the town on the back of a donkey. <laughs> As I have done in the past. But it was very enjoyable watching you dance with your partner, but I'd like you now, John, to dance with a partner of my choice. Are you willing to do that? I accept your chance. You better be, mate. I'm wearing <laughs> a cape. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and get my right. partner now. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's my dancing partner, John. <laughs> Over your shoulder. <laughs> Mysteriously, with the face of Chris Tarrant. <laughs> We go dance the night away! Depended on it. Oh! Thank you so much. Well done, John. The dream comes true. <laughs> Chris Tarrant, <laughs> how can I ever thank you? <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire when you can dance like that? Well done, John. A million the million for me. He rose to the challenge. Well done, John. Go back to seat. <laughs> Have you had a problem, Vic? <laughs> oh, you're sorry, Peg. <laughs> Vic? I'd like to introduce you now to my first 
guest. My first act, and it is, of course, Sheila Moore. Sheila Moore. <laughs> Sheila, come and join me here at the end <coughs> of my lovely marble sandbank. Now then, Sheila, you work in an old folks home, right? I work in a sheltered housing development, Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 we've heard all that before. <laughs> I used, Sheila, I used to um, run a dating agency for old people called Ooh. Expiry Dates. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any sort of show-busy type people in your... Oh, in lots, your, lots of show-busy types. And do you, 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 you do a bit of a dance sort of... We do routine? lots of things together. Do you do? You do yes, it? we do. Yes, we dance <laughs> You are a bit tap dancing, yeah. Do you yes, really? Definitely. Yes, and that's exactly what you're going to be doing tonight, for this it? Mm, yes, it is. Off you go down there and get ready now down there, Sheila, because tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Sheila Moore tap dances for you with extras. <laughs> You come on here, positively reeking of horlicks. <laughs> and you can stop laughing. Barbara Windsor. <laughs> Good show them, Vic. Maltiness. <laughs> wrong, Vic. Now you, go and like the clappers. Oh. Yes, I used to teach, but not for a little while, but I love it. Oh, no, I could tell that. <laughs> and there we are, the oldest tap dancing troupe in the world. 450 collective tapping years which would take us back to the time of Henry VIII, Sheila. Really? See my hand going, really? demonstrating that. <laughs> the time of Henry VIII, and if you wondered what Henry VIII might look like, tap yes. down soon. There he is now, Henry VIII! Fuck you go! <laughs> right, that's it. Thank you very much, Henry VIII! Thank you, Sheila Moore and her lovely tap dancer. Right, back to the show, thanks. Was fantastic Wasn't that fantastic? Well, tippity tippity tap tap tap. <laughs> Alice, do you know what I mean? I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. But it's up to the jury to decide who they're going to vote for. Will they vote for the ballroom dancing skills of John Wilcott or the tap dancing skills of Sheila Moore? Jury, please cast your vote now. Can't wait. <laughs> At the end of that round, the Moore family have six points. The Wolcott family also have six. Whoa! It's a Muted celebration. It's even Stevens. It's it tied is. at six off. So, Bob, round two. Can we have your next challenger, please? Me again, is it? Yep. Yep. Are you playing Kenny this round? No, 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 no. Kenny is my secret weapon. Okay, then, in that case, let me introduce you to. Dad, it's John Walcott. Come with me, Dad. <laughs> you just like to come here, John? Now, John. You're an engineer, but you've got many skills. Right. You play golf, you play darts, and there's something else here, isn't there? It's fishing. Ah, oh, yes. It's fishing, but you're not going to be fishing for us tonight, are you? Uh, no, I shall be playing pool. You're playing pool? Yes. Yes, tonight, Vic, John Walcott will play pool. He's playing pool? Yes, he's playing pool. He's playing pool? Yes, he's playing pool. Yes, pool. He's playing pool. But pool. It's... Play. He's playing pool, but it's with a twist. Come on, ignore him, John. Pool. Come on, let's play pool. Get yourself ready, John. Now, 
I can understand why Vic was so disparaging about the thought of watching pool, but this is Families at War, so it's not ordinary pool, it's dark pool. John is going to pot the balls on the pool table in total blackness. <laughs> so if you can get those gloves on John as quick as you can. Now these gloves are bright white and you'll notice that the balls are luminous orange. That's because when John is ready, we're going to lower the studio lights to pitch blackness so that you, the audience, can enjoy the experience of dark pool. <laughs> okay? John, remember the chant. Bring the beast within you, without you. Ow. That's the one. <laughs> John has memorised the positions of these balls and he will pot them using the gift of memory only. And surely memory is a great gift. <laughs> Can you see anything at all, John? <laughs> Clearly, he sees nothing at all. I'm going to black out my shirt and collar so that we have total darkness. Can I put the pool cue in your hand, please? There you are, John. I am now going to apply luminous paint to the face so that you can see where he is in relation to the pool table. <laughs> Could you now begin the blackout process? Thank you, technicians, for surely they require thanking. <laughs> You'll be able to instantly see that I have applied luminescence to our face. You can now clearly see John's eyes, mouth and his little beard and you can see my mouth and my over, over eye area. Uh, this luminescence represents, of course, eyebrows, okay? <laughs> I'll take you round to the back of the table, John, and if you give me your left hand, I will place it on the white ball. There you are, the white ball is on the black spot. Now, which of the balls will you pop first? Uh, right middle. Right middle, off you go, John. By the gift of memory alone, sight has been excluded from the arena. <laughs> Off you go, John. Oh. Unlucky, you've probably guessed by that monk-like <laughs> ejaculation that you've missed. I am now putting the white ball back on the black spot and locating your left resting hand on the top of the white ball. Which ball will you be attempting to pot next? Uh, I should go for <laughs> middle. Uh, left. Middle left, and you're on time. Dark pool. <laughs> Will dark pool ever catch up? <laughs> it depends how much time you have to pass. And how solitary your life is. Once again, John, I will repeat my mantra. Your left hand is on the cue ball on the spot in the D. Which ball will you be attempting to pocket now, please, John? Bottom left. Top left from where I'm standing. Bottom. Yeah, it's a hilarious position for anything spherical. <laughs> Got your concentration back. Top left. Dark. Pool. Ooh! The darkness has beaten you. <laughs> I repeat my mantra. Your cueing hand is on the cue ball in the D on the spot. Now you're going for top right, top right, for that is all you have left yeah, all to avoid right. complete and total embarrassment. <laughs> top right, she's gone. Yeah! yeah! Well done, John. Now, John, I'm now going to ask you to try a mystery ball. Mysterious in that it's going to be placed in the exact centre sure. of the table. Now, I know you didn't memorise the position of this ball, but I repeat, it is in the exact centre, and once again, your left hand is on the white ball, in the D, on the spot. Are you ready? It's in the centre, the exact centre of the table. Dark pool. Unlucky, oh, never mind. Ooh, maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah! Well done, John. Turn the lights back up. Ladies and gentlemen, dark pool with John Sykes. Dark pool with John Wolcott. Well done, John. Come on. It's time for you to introduce your next family member. My you next would. family member, of course I can do that for you, Alice. That's the least I can do <laughs> with you in your present condition. <laughs> Who have I got? It's Linda! Come and join me over here, Linda. <laughs> now then, Linda. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Linda. What do you do? 
I'm a housekeeper. A housekeeper? A housekeeper at a children's day nursery. Now then, you're going to be doing something very special for us tonight. Mm -hmm. It's something to do with housekeeping, mm -hmm. isn't it? You're going to be... Ironing a shirt, You're actually. going to be ironing a shirt because I'm going out for a really tip-top night tonight and I want my shirt nice and crisp. You're going to be... Well, I won't say any more now. Linda, off you go and get ready because tonight, Linda will iron my shirt in 30 seconds. Here's Linda, speed ironing! <laughs> Come on, Linda, go on, go for it. Come on, Linda, faster, faster! Iron faster, I've got to get out tonight. I want that shirt iron. Come on, Linda! Go, Linda! Go, Linda! Iron, iron! Go, Linda, iron, iron! And she's getting that. Have you done it? She's nearly there. Have a shot. There we are. Time to and down on the sea. Don't hide the shirt. Give it to me. It's my shirt. Oh my God. Linda, that is fantastic. Look at that. Uh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It's got two creases as well. Pause part two. What on earth is that? You cannot challenge that. I am wearing a challenge garment. Therefore, I, can't, I can can't not see what you're wearing. I am wearing the trousers of many eyes. Forty-two in all. Can you believe it? Forty-two eyes, including one. That's a winker. <laughs> How can you challenge that? I'm going to explain now. Linda, it's all well and good ironing with your own iron, your own ironing board, but can you iron that shirt in 30 seconds on my living ironing board? It's the same challenge, Linda. There's your shirt. It's the same challenge on my living iron. It's a living ironing no, no, board. It's a living... You can't do that. You play no part in the challenge process. Alice, tell him to go. The Seven. living ironing board? Yes, it's the same challenge. 30 seconds. Can you do it? Off you go. All the best, Linda. Linda. Many have come and tried, but few have survived the living ironing board. It was a good attempt. Well done, Linda. Well done, Linda. Well, done, Linda. well, done, Linda. well that was another marvellous round, but the jury have to vote. And will they vote for Linda Moore's ironing or John Wilcott's dark pool play? Dark pool. Who's it going to be, Alice? I don't know. We're going to let the jury vote now. Let's find out. John Wilcott has scored four. Linda Moore has scored eight. So the totals at the end of round two are the Wilcott family have ten points. The Moore family have 14 points. Oh! Let's get on with it. It's yeah. Kenny time! <laughs> yeah, but not it's just yet, honey. It's not, because, Bob, you're going first again. Yeah. Well, I have... You, you have no, that'll do. Nope. <laughs> OK, Alice. Bring on your last family. No, that's number. fine. It's the Wolcott. No problem. It's Danny. Come on, Danny. <laughs> now, Danny, as you can see, Danny's taking his shoes off there, his socks, and he's going to continue to strip down to... The bare essentials. Now, Danny is a very proficient golfer, he's a swimmer, and like the rest of his family, he likes to play darts. But what are you going to be doing for us tonight? I'm clambering. Clambering. Now, that's utilising your gymnastic skills within a residential setting. Is that right? Yeah. OK, let's go and have a look at it. Come on, Danny. <laughs> Danny Walcott, riding into the room here. Now, this is Mr Jimmy Nell's front room where he slowly <laughs> passes the time remembering the lengths of feathers he's noticed that day on rooftops. That's Jimmy for you. Now you're going to clamber. Remember when someone clambers, he must steal from the recipient's room. In this case, Jimmy Nell. Are you ready to clamber, Danny? You're our final act. We're going for victory. You're all right, Danny? Yeah. Get 
get ready and clamber. Off you go. Do you have clambering balance? Yep. Danny Walker. <laughs> Watch me like a man! <laughs> Oi! I was reading that! in my living room whilst I'm having a kick. <laughs> Oi, get off me black currant juice, you little get. <laughs> oh, I went all slow-mo there. Top, the Plumberers. Well done, Danny. Not bad, not bad at all. Lovely. Not bad. We but like it's Kenny time. We yeah. can't avoid it any longer. Tonight, Kenny Moore is going to be doing Freedom by George Michael. <laughs> Inside of me There is nothing else I got to be Take back a picture from your friend Say that you're singing in the rain Well, I don't think you understand Sometimes the clock do not make a mess All we have to do now Hey, is take these signs And make them true stuff All we have to see Is that I don't To you, Alex. Well, you've seen it all now. Will it be Kenny Moore singing or will it be Danny Wilcox clambering? Jury, cast your votes now, please. Who's it going to be? The Wilcox family scored four points. The Moore family scored eight points, which means the final scores are the Wilcox family have 14 points, but the Moores are tonight's winners with 22 points. Yeah! We win! Con All right. We won! Congratulations, Moore family. You scored 22 points. Whoa. We need to say thank you and commiserations to the lovely, lovely Wilcott family. You will not go home empty-handed. No, well done, Wilcott family. You were excellent. There's your little trophies. FAW representing families at war. The A for you there, Danny. The W for you there, John. Thank you very much indeed. Unlucky. Well done, well done. Now it's time for... The Cubus And some of the prizes on offer tonight are a games console, a mini hi-fi, a vacuum cleaner, a blender and a money mannequin. As 
you can see, the spider is suspended in the grabbing position, ah. ready to grab the prizes on offer. But who is the spider? I am the spider! <laughs> and who is the spider's keyboard player? I am the freshwater shrimp, and I am not bothered about now. The more family have to manoeuvre the spider towards the prizes they want to win. Once the prize is within the spider's clutches, he must deposit it down the chute in order to claim it for the family. I am the freshwater shrimp. I dine on algae while you have electric dreams. <laughs> spider, are you ready? I am the spider. Freshwater shrimp, are you ready? Not bothered about now. Across, mother! Mother, Watch across! Down, big up! Up, lean your up! If you and your family would like to appear on Families at War, please write for an application form to Families at War, room 4024, BBC Television Centre, Wood Lane, London, W12 7RJ.